Abraham and Sarah's new life. Before this story, we learned about Abram's impatience with God's promise that he would have a son with Sarai, and had a son with her servant instead. Now we will learn about how God makes a special promise and changes Abram and Sarai's name, as inspired by the book of Genesis. Abram and his wife Sarai were very old. They were almost a hundred. God had big plans for Abram and Sarai. One day, Abram fell face down and God said, I am making a promise to you that I will never break. You are going to be the father of many nations. Therefore, I am going to give you a new name and a new life. I will call you Abraham, because you will be the father of many nations. I make an everlasting promise to be your God and the God of your descendants, and the land of Canaan will be a gift to you. He told Abraham, My promises are true. You will see. But first, you must keep your promise and circumcise yourself and all the men in your family. Then you will know my promises are true and last forever. From now on, when a baby boy is eight days old, you will circumcise him. Any male who is not circumcised will be separated from his people. He has broken my promise with you. God also gave a new name to Sarai. He called her Sarah because she was going to have a baby boy and be the mother of nations and kings. Abraham and Sarah were amazed with God's blessings and promises. They were so surprised they laughed at what God said. <laughs> Who has children at our age? God said, Sarah will bear you a son, and you are to name him Isaac. I will establish my promise with him and his descendants after him. This will happen next year. God also said Ishmael would receive God's blessing too because he was a part of Abraham's family. Ishmael would also have a really big family of his own someday. Abraham believed in God and he did as he was told. His whole family would be blessed by God forever. The whole world would share Abraham's blessing from God. Everyone who believes in God shares Abraham's blessing. <laughs>